hey, hey, it's Adele from Let's Get Inky. And today I'm working on a art journal page in my Dina Wakely Media Journal, which has got all sorts of different papers in it. And I'm learning to love it. I've got currently while recording this voiceover, I've got 10 pages left to go and I cannot wait until it's finished and I can just have that satisfaction of flipping through a finished art journal. I'm using some Dilutions acrylic paints and I decided to go for a rainbowy type background, which is not my usual go-to. I usually collage first and then kind of work within a single color family on my background, but I was feeling rainbowy for this mood. I don't know why. I made this while uh, my hubby Aaron, who's Inky Beard here on YouTube, he was doing some live streaming over on Twitch and I was kind of just in my own little world listening to some Real Housewives on my iPad and I was just, I was feeling bright and happy. So I think that's why I went for some Something a little bit different. Uh, the reason why I'm working in two journals, if you're new to my channel, this little one is called my Use It Up journal. And oh, this yellow's yeah, very cluggy. I needed to I needed to put it on another page and mix an orange. That's what I'm doing there. Uh, but my little journal here is a Dilutions A5 sized creative journal. And I use it as my Use It Up journal. That's what I call it. And whenever I need to use paint or a stencil, I use it in both my the, the art journal I'm working in and this little one because it gives me a second background that I can just pick up and do a really quick art journal page when I feel like being creative and making something but not getting messy and having to wait for things to dry and it's just it's a it's a great way to be a lazy art journaler and to get two things for the the t well the time and the messiness of one that's that's my outlook on it between the yellow and blue I'm not a fan of green but I did feel like I needed something there because the the blue was very turquoisey very bright and so I felt like I needed something to kind of calm it down a little bit so I went with a bit of white in between and here I'm using a Jane Davenport uh, napkin we call them serviettes here in Australia and I'm using the serviette I'm just using some matte gel medium to stick that down and the I struggled with this serviette a little bit the designs on it because there's there's so many different faces and I kind of wanted to just put them all on one piece all together. So it's good. The good thing is that you get multiple uh, copies in the packets of the Jane Davenport napkins. And so you can do some pages where you just focus on cutting out one face. And I've done that before. Or you can also just use an entire one on one and one whole page. So when I use the matte gel medium, I use a different paintbrush because it does kind of clunk up your paintbrushes a little bit. And I also do a coat on top as well as on the bottom. Next up, I've got some periwinkle blue paint and a, a makeup sponge that I got from the $2 shop. And I'm using, I've sped this up four times this part just because there's a whole lot of sponging and a whole lot of doodling. And it's it's okay to go fast um, so don't think that my hand moves that quickly in real life wouldn't that be a great superpower as an art journaler to have like super speedy time warping skills so that you could make things like this which are quite you know not boring but repetitive and a bit blah they're not the fun part of the page uh, you could speed those bits up so you could get even more art journals done that would be the dream. I'm using this star stencil. I don't know what brand it is. I don't know where it's from. Um, I I think I may, no, I don't know where this one's from. I'm sorry. I don't really keep track of my stencil brands because once I've bought them, I've bought them and I use them and they're good to go. Um, but yes, I've have been buying quite a few star stencils lately. Stars are my new, my new shape, my new go-to. I think because I've got my little boy and he he's 15 months now when I'm recording this voiceover and stars are a great shape to use on his scrapbook pages as well um, as in my art journaling and I'm just kind of 
I'm finding stars. My go-to is hearts, but stars, are, are, I'm starting to really like them. Some of the, because I'm working on top of paint and this dilutions paint is quite thin, um, it, it's quite, you can still see through the other colours. And so to make it a bit interesting, I did a second coat on top of some of the stars. So some of them appear darker or more opaque than others and I also mixed in a little bit of the midnight blue um, to make some darker stars down the bottom of the page and you can see my top tip for stenciling is to have barely any paint on your sponge that's the trick it's honestly the the right amount is barely anything it doesn't look painty and cluggy and when you I like to pounce my sponge on a separate surface um, a few times just to kind of work the paint in there a little bit and it shouldn't be feeling slippery and cluggy when you pounce it on top of a surface it should be very very dry Next up, I've got this background stamp that I don't know where it's from either, but it's some um, pretty stars and I'm just kind of stamping it around quite messily. There's one on that girl's forehead. I'm just stamping it here, there and everywhere. And because this, not only is the paper in this Dina Wakely Media Journal a little bit lumpy, but the, I've also filled up a, a ton of pages in this album. And so there's lots of bumpy things behind it. Uh, so I knew I wasn't going to get a really crisp stamped image and that's all right by me. That's what my background stamping is all about, just to give kind of a distressed type stamp. Next up, I'm using my uh, uni ball. Is it uni ball or just uni? Uh, uni, uni ball. I think it's uni ball. Uh, Signo white gel pen in the broad tip. It's the white pen that I always use and it's, it's smooth it's nice and as long as your paint's dry it, it seems to work all right it's nice and opaque which is the the quality that I I look for most in white pens it's so hard to get nice white opaque mixed media products sometimes I'm still I've got to find um I asked a little while ago about recommendations for white ink pads and a lot of you recommended the Brilliance brand or Brilliance, maybe it's another brand and it's called Brilliance. Uh, so I've got to track that down as well because I think that white stamping would be really fun to do. Black and white are really powerful tools in making your art journal pages pop. Um, if you're new to art journaling, you you don't need a ton of supplies you can slowly accrue a stencil and stamp collection all you really need is some some sort of paints i would say um even if they're just cheap you know acrylic paints from a two dollar shop or if you steal your children's paints that they might use for their craft activities borrow i should say um, but i really can't recommend enough buying a white paint pen or gel pen and a nice black gel pen or paint pen as well those two I think are must-haves for uh, starting art journaling a black and a white pen not just your your everyday ballpoint pen a, a nice gel pen or a paint pen next up I'm using this new stuff it's uh, beautiful it's gold modeling paste and that's the brand there. You can pause it and have a little look here if you'd like it. It's actually from Istanbul. Um, I got it somewhere. I can't remember the shop name, but it's really, really lovely. And so I'm just using that to uh, go over this wordy stencil that I haven't used before. And I purposely went over this lass's face a little bit and her neck because her neck was too long and it was bothering me uh, so I thought by covering up a little bit it it makes it not look as my eye was just being drawn to it and it was annoying me so I covered it up a little bit then I decided that my uh, napkin girls looked a bit too faded and so I'm grabbing my black food ball pen and I'm just re going over the lines just to make them a little bit darker and um, a little bit more pigmented I guess because they were looking a little bit gray after uh, having the matte gel medium over the top 
this black food ball pen. It's in a 1.5 size and it's brilliant for art journaling. Um, it is not permanent though, so you cannot paint over the top. It will smudge and if you spray water or do a like a, a top coat or any sort of wetness on it, uh, it will smudge. So just be aware of that. But it's a great art journaling pen. Then I tried to use the mermaid markers and I didn't like this. I tried to give this girl a little bit of color in her hair and I just, it was too saturated. And so then I tried to figure out a solution and in the end I got an old chalk texter and I just kind of diluted the color a little bit and I do really like the way that this looks um, and you can see just by adding that little bit of white it does change like it makes them pop a little bit more and I, I don't know I just love black and white um, pens in my art journaling so next up I decided that I wanted to use a yellow Posca paint pen and I'm just kind of doing some little shapes, little mark making bits and pieces in the background and it's these little touches that um, I think make the page really come to life. I'm using that same chalk texture to add some splatters to my background which is very messy but quite effective if you like a lot of white splatter like I do. I've then got some tiny word stickers from my stash and I'm just sticking them down. I'm adding a little bit of extra adhesive to the back of them because they're going over the top of um, some texture paste. I really, I think I went back after the video was filmed and actually added glue instead. I wouldn't use double sided tape. I don't know why I did. I think I filmed this late at night and I was, look, I, I was very distracted by Real Housewives of Atlanta at this point. So um, it was probably getting nice and juicy on the TV show and I was just going, you know, when you get into, I kind of call it robot mode and you, you your hands just do whatever they want to do and you don't actually think of the consequences of it. I think I was in that kind of art journaling state of mind uh, and I was lucky that I didn't add, I, I was just in a real let's add all of the tiny word stickers mood in at this point. So I'm sticking a few of those down, picking a few kind of motivational type um, girl ones because there's all the the pictures of the girls on the the serviette and I just thought that it was it was a cool girl inspiring uplifting kind of page so then I decided that because I've got the black of the outline of the faces and I've got the black outlining the tiny word stickers I needed a third hit of black I like to have my colors kind of hit in threes if they're a main color and so I just doodled some little stars around and the page is done it's not my usual but I I love it and I really like that I left that spot on the bottom right hand page white so that the stars and the stenciling kind of pop out from the white background. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye!